this video show you how to make a scatter plot. Usually, we will use the scatter plot to plot the data that we collected to investigate the relationship between two variables. So, as usual, the first thing is to set our working directory. So, it's a folder where we keep our data. Then, the next thing is we want to load the data into the R. So, we just create an object. I type in the name and make sure there's no space in the name of the object equal to read.csv put the bracket and then quotation mark go to the folder where we keep the data copy the name of the file including the extension then just click run. So we can click on the data that we loaded into the R and examine the data. After that, then we can plot the data. So what we need to do is just type plot bracket, type the name of the object. We want to plot the S variable, which is the body height with the shoe size. So we can click run and the plot will be shown. So as you can see, we might want to change the label for our S axis and Y axis and also include the title in our plot. We just put a comma, click enter. So we can start with the new line. We need to type man, open and cross quotation, so we can click run, so we'll see the title. So no worry if the title is too long, they cannot be fit in the in this window so we can customize it later so after that we also want to have a new name for our s label so just click type s label equal to body height so in this case is cm and we can add also the y label So we can click run. Now we have a complete plot with the title and also the assist label. So the next thing is to export the image. Just click export, save as. So as you can see, the title is too long. So we might want to increase the size of the plot. Give the name for this figure. Create save. So this is how the graph look like. If you think the point in the chart is too small, you can change the size of the point. So what we need to do, we can just comma type CES equal to give a number. So let's say five, we can run again. So you can see the point is become larger. So we can save the image again. Just create save. Similarly, we also can change the shape of the points. Okay, the type of the points that we're going to use. You have to go to Google. Just type plot R point types. So you can click on any of this. Okay. So you can customize which point that you want to use. So let's say we want to use this one. So what we need to do, we need to add another command, which is the point character equal to choose the number, which one that you want to use. Let's say this one, 19. 
19, then click run. Or you can change to any number that you want. Just select the points that you want. Once you are happy, then you can save it as an image.